All right, you guys. I want to point something out. Barry, for the past four years, has been claiming that he's going to put all these cars back on the road, right? And hasn't done one. Not one car has he fucking fully completed the project, put it back on the road, and made it a nice driver, daily driver. Not one. These two Mustangs here is not a Mach 1. There's no stripe down it. Just because it has the hood and the honeycomb thing, don't make it a Mach none. So, he can put that shit to bed by fucking showing, right. decoding the bin. Now, this car and the yellow car is about to show, right? And if he decodes the bin, I want to see the body tag match. So, the, the yellow car, he has let sit so long with dreams of grandeur that the rear frame rails are rotted out of it. The rear end fell out last time he jacked it up. But he's saving cars. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the ball. And I hate to say it, those cars garage. aren't worth fixing. I Mr. Obvious, I'm very eager to show so one of his cars that's as nice as the Boys Corvette. And one of his cars that is as clean as it. You know, you don't have one car out of 90 fucking cars that is nice. I mean, Fastback, Mach 1, body it's style. Perfect, but difference between a 69 and a 70. Okay, so that was yesterday, this is today. So, we were told, oh, it's so sad to see him like that. It is. It's just terrible the way you treat him. It is. You know. You're killing cars. I guess you're you a hoarder-ass poser that will never an old car. do anything with any of them cars besides the let them sit. Keep it. You're no mechanic. Just hold on you don't have the care. fucking ability okay. to fix so, and finish one fucking project without going, squirrel. Bad shape. Cars, so today we're going to change that. Jacked up today we have the tail of the two Mustangs here. I mean, 72 fastback. And junk and junk. I mean, I can show you guys 10 of them that, that we're one's a Mach 1. Track. It's beautiful shape. So Mr. For what Barry went for that rod that piece of shit. Years. Hopefully we don't have another Mr. Obvious Mr. and, and uh, would grind my gear video come back. Mr. We're waiting, Barry. What's the matter? We had the sass. I'm not going to put uh, Mr. Obvious fucking the six foot under, I think. I think Mr. Obvious is fucking in fucking Boston in a fucking Obvious pillar. I think the same guy as a joker. <laughs> I think so, too. Mr. Obvious will come back if you... Because think about it. The Barry lets well, right everybody else run their mouth, right? They want to run their mouth, back, right? Why, when he started, when it started to click in, Mary said, so he's like, hey, we're so all right, we can discuss this. Off the 72 yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to show these two great cars of mine that I bought and don't have a lot of money in either one. So for you people out there that are jealous, you don't have a Mustang, you don't have a Mach 1, you don't have a... Yeah, Barry, because we all want a 69 Mach 1 two-barrel fucking base car. Anything? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you, you know, save your money, then do what I did, find one, locate one, purchase it, then put your fat ass in the tow truck and go well, get you, it. Just you like didn't I do that, motherfucker. I mean, your mom paid to have that shit brought there. You, Zimmer, your words, dickhead. As usual, talking fucking shit. Mommy did that, Barry, not you. Right, I mean... I had to do, okay? And quit whining about, oh, it's just so sad, that, you know, the way you keep those cars, blah, 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 blah. Get a clue, you know? It, you know, I'm almost 60 years old. I'm an old man. Well, I've done the best I can with the cars and, and be able to keep them and fuck So you're an old man. So is it right for you to want to fuck a under young girls, Barry? Right. You're an old man. You're an old man, Barry. Uh, over these cars. For years, I have fought to keep these cars. I've had you didn't fight to keep to, Ryan's oh, mom. You didn't fight to keep your other kids. You didn't fight to keep Ryan. But some fucking cars you fought to keep. Real man, though. Do that. It called. That's an eyesore. And then the other one. Oh, he's, he's making my property value go down. Let me tell you, what I have here doesn't hurt your property value. Right, no, okay? No, man. Because your property value, you can take and mow your building you down. Talking, mow all your buildings down. Mow down your house. I mean, he, mow down your garage. And the property value is still the same. You'll still pay the same on your taxes. I was told that by my... Uh, <laughs> people down here in the little town I live they in you, that man. with nothing on the property. They lied to you, Barry. That's not how it works. Any fucking adult with a brain knows that's not how it works, Barry. The surroundings has a lot to do. They just mow everything down. It's worth $32,500. i am paying tax on that. 
My mom and dad bought this property for $28,000. No, 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 Barry. I have the receipt. Would you like me to post it? Even though we only paid twenty eight dollars That's like, that's like uh, buying this box truck for $2,000. Lies. They paid over $31,000 for that place. Then, you weren't even man enough to carry your own homeowners. Your mommy and daddy had to do it till the insurance adjuster showed up and dropped your ass. Just like you're a great dad to run, right? You couldn't even carry insurance on that boy because you knew he wasn't yours. My great father, my great mother and great father bought this property for me. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm in awe, you know, I, I am, I, I sit around here and I look off, I get on that porch and I look over the railing and I, I look out, you know, at all that I have, you know, and, and you know, yeah, I was very hard. lucky. You know? Hey, Barry, I do want to tell you something. You tell you didn't hurt, you don't appreciate it. So, when my grandparents pass, my grandpa passes, because my grandma won't want it, his property's willed to me. And I can fucking promise you this. I'm not going to spit in the face of my grandpa and put 86 junk cars on his property. Just like you shouldn't have spit on your mom and dad's face by letting that house dilapidate like you did. How about you learn how to appreciate something and have fucking respect and shit for the shit you have? Out of your own pocket. When you don't have to earn anything in life or make your own way, you don't appreciate that. I mean, he is living proof. You know, of this the family that I, I was born into, they got that kid. <clears throat> and some people, you know, weren't that lucky, and I understand that. You know, I worked for forty-nine. You uh, lying uh, sack of shit. See, it was a little bit more than that. Forty something, forty-eight years. You're a liar. And, and my <laughs> what job you keep out on, Barry? Brother and sister, you know, shitheads. You know, they're jealous, and you know, like mom never gave you nothing. You know, mom and dad never. Gave so they, they gave, bought them a house and, and, and paid their rent constantly, bought their food. Took care of their son. Took care of their son. Raised their son, their kids. So your mom and dad raised their kids too. No, they sent your brother to college. Like they're supposed to. That's a parent's fucking job if you can afford it. Why do you think when a kid goes to college, first year of freshman, they want mom and dad's tax information? Because it's fucking the way it is, dude. Because you're responsible. It sounds like you're a little jelly bear that you were too stupid to go to college. What well, it sounded like to me. What's the matter, Barry? Books kind of hard for you to learn there, what dumbass. What you're supposed to do is, is, is pay your way your whole fucking life for fucking 50 years. You mooched off your mom. You you, you, see, you made her so nervous, dude, that when she hear your car come out of fucking road, dude, your loud ass junk, she would start getting nervous. And I, when you walk in the house, it'd be, what, what do you need? What do you want? It wouldn't be, hey, son, it'd be, what do you want? She knew when you was coming, you wanted something. I mean, you're a hell of a Hey, Barry, I'm going to tell you this, buddy. How does it feel that none of my family treat me like that? I'll drive over to my grandpa's. I'll walk in there and, how you doing, bud? How's your day going? I'm going good. How's your day going? I don't walk in and him go, what do you want? Or how much you want now? You know, that's how family's supposed to be, Barry. Oh, another thing. My grandpa and dad, my uncles, all about everybody like that's never thumped my head. Because right. I didn't want to get up and go to work. Right. I mean, what's tell a story about that, Barry? When you get your ass out of work, your dad come downstairs and put, beat the fuck out of you. Blame him for being deaf in your fucking ear. Gave you guys something. They, mom and dad gave them plenty. Mom gave my my uh, youngest step brother, half brother. See? I call him step brother because he's only half brother. You know, they gave. So you're, again, you call your mom a whore. Yeah, but right. in your recent videos, you don't say that. So why is that, Barry? Again. Mom, you know, you four ride. years in college, yeah, free ride, you know. And my sister, she got her digs too, you know. So yeah, I was That's lucky. That's their you know? job. But every girl is all out, you know. Did they take care of their kids? Did they dump their kids off over there, Barry? Let's talk about something. We're going to try to clean this car off that's been mothballed. Let's speak on something real quick, because I want to I want to point this out, and I like pointing this out. You attacked your brother's son, which is autistic. He is autistic. He don't fucking know you from Adam. He's never even fucking met you. None of that matters. You threatened to beat up an autistic child. Man, whatever. You threatened to do that. But you're a good dude. 
I can tell you this, Barry. Me and my sister are pretty close. If she had children and me and her did fall out and her child came at me, if he was autistic or not autistic, I would look at him and say, look, you love your mom. This is between me and her, though. This ain't nothing to do with you. I love you, and I'm glad you're taking up for your mom, but this has to do with me and me and your mom. That's how you would handle that, Barry. You don't downgrade and fucking call your brother's names, talk about beating up his autistic son. You're a good guy, though, Barry. Hence why no one wants to stay with your fucking ass. You're a piece oh, of shit. Since it locked up. I think the chimey chimey chain. Good thing fucking Ryan's mom got away with shit. I'm not really sure. I put a chimey chain in this car when I bought it. This car was running a drive. But let's see if we can't uh, let's see if we can't do something. We're gonna be, uh, using John Deere again. Think about it, guys. Every engine that's locked up has a timing chain issue and very fucked with it. In some way, shape, or form. Anybody else find that kind of odd? Just see if we can't get something done here. It's hot. I'm not feeling the best. I got some issues today with my uh, hip again. And I took a couple uh, ibuprofens and feeling a little better. Now I'm not feeling shit. Smoke some weed, did you, Barry? Hit the fucking meth pipe. Hook you up on our apparatus. Hope you guys can see. The trunk's really popped on, so it's been raining in that trunk I since that car's been popped. Park, 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 whatever. I wanted to do all that with you. And I could draw a glove. Let you experience what uh, I experienced. So stupid, I'm going to get a big old settlement, man. I'm going to make the doctor quiet. Yeah, that, that's a lot of pain and stuff in there, man. I mean, you get just to bark off. I fired up and you can start barking. <laughs> Engine. Motor's electric. Engine burns fuel. We got a whole jet to go. I wish Uncle Jock was still alive. Because so we, we, we could probably know so much more about Barry. Oh, yeah. sure, the Have Uncle Jock run his little his background the check at the police department? Back back in a month more. Oh, no, no, no. So the road 72, oh, so we're going to try to tell you the difference between 72 pass back and 72 month one. So we'll get some cash. Junk. Just gonna sit there Junk. Up and just look at this. Trailer. He is not a hoarder, but look at this. The level of just oh, disgusting great. hoarder shit he has around. And I gotta pick it up. Oh, I don't know what that's for. Honestly, second, until we get all the junk piled off the end of the trailer. So yeah, this thing's been mothballed for a very long time, and I hate it. That's going to change today. It didn't, you guys. Spoiler alert. Car still on. sitting. Another wind is out there. What a broke timing <laughs> chain. Here. Oh, these are for some vans. That's where a van went. That's a van went. Oh, holy shit. Put that up there. Race car parts. And another one. 10 second parts. These are 10 second fucking door glasses, you guys. They were on a fucking Hemi fucking Dodge Caravan that Barry ran back in 1982. He's so fucking special. He called Chrysler in 1982 to get a fucking white van like that that's over there with a fucking 426 Hemi and a four speed in it. And they laughed him out of the fucking place. So, and he said, damn it, better. I'll build it myself. Yeah, and as you guys see, it's still sitting there and you don't have a Hemi yet. You know, you don't know what kind of goodies we're going to find here. I don't remember half of 
Goodies. Or, excuse me. Going on. Goodies. Trying to find a, some good stuff there. The rats are strapped. Where's the other half of the ratchet strap? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? It's junk. What about the other half that's yeah, fucking no. junk? Well, what do you know, huh? Oh, you got the other half? Oh, man, you're here. Holy shit, Barry. Uh, fuck yeah, use that rusty ass, know, nasty ass ratchet strap. You want to tie down your new fucking lift chair? What am I looking at? Spark plug wire. See the stolen Dollar General fucking shopping cart that Hammer Lurch probably walked off with. It looks amazing already, just like this cleaning the roof off. Totally How many of you folks are jealous of this? Yeah, like to have little this? Little How many of you are so jealous of Barry Beeman that you want eighty you want your property to look like that? I'm a car guy and I love cars and dirt bikes and shit like that. I would never want my property to look like that. If that day ever came, somebody needs to com commit me because I have a mental Ill illness. Can we all go over to Barry Beamer's house and have an intervention? We all like sit down and like me, Mako, everybody, fast there, everybody. We write down some paper and we all tell him how his hoarding makes us feel and how he needs to go to help. And then when he does it, we can tie his hand, throw him in the back of the van and take him to a mill institution. You have literally the top to a toilet. <laughs> probably so fuck the cords and the fucking lampshades are probably one of these cars these are some great pads off of some job side job I did we'll go over to the metal pile we have we got an old radio flyer that we usually throw our little scrap in what? You don't have one in your garage underneath your work. What, Barry? You don't have one in your garage underneath the work vent? Oh, never mind. You don't use a garage. I forgot. There's a whole roll of colossal cable. Look at that. Look at that whole roll. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we're going to clean the 72. Hang on, you guys. We're at it. You know, we're not just going to clean one off. We're going to. He literally stole a whole whole roll of coax wire, probably off the side of the road. Why? It's not worth anything. What are you gonna start your own fucking direct TV business, Barry? Do he stole some radio wire, some fucking antenna wire, coax wire, whatever. Okay. It's also late. Oh, days. yeah. We've seen better days. But we're going to put it around. Days. That's for sure. You actually going to cut up all the junk cars, Barry? Yeah, we, we know for half of them, you don't have titles. Hey, mate. Let's see if I win it and just move from one spot to another. Now, we'll move over here. You got to start back to getting up. This is cleaning up, folks. I don't know about you, but moving junk from one side to another side, not getting rid of any of it, isn't cleaning this up. Came out of my Grand Prix that I had replaced the seats with another seat. And we're going to throw that in Mount Trash. <laughs> breath for picking up a fucking seat wow you got my right, asthmatic ass beat video guys to show the difference yeah, of the 72 mustang yep fastback 
and what a 72 Mach 1 is supposed to have option wise to make it different than a 72 Fast. Don't show us the VIN and show us prove it's a Mach 1. Hey, look at that. And then show us the, the body number on it just so we can make sure the dash VIN matches because pretty sure on those cars it goes from the dash and you said the dash has been replaced. Actually, I have a video. I know you said that. And I got a whole bunch of them over here that I've been collecting. And I plan on doing, when I feel better, a washing video. We're going to take our pressure washer. And my son's got one too, a little electric job. And I got an old Honda. Y'all heard that, right? He's not a hoarder, but he's collecting. He's collecting fucking garden hoses. Clean some, you know? You clean, that would be a fucking first. You gonna play in shit some more? See, I've abused these cars. I haven't treated them, you know, the way they should be treated. That's fucking you know evident. I, I fought for so many years just to keep them. Yeah. You scare little girls when you're fighting, bro? It's real what I've had to go through over the years just to hold on to these Get cars. your ass kicked out of events, did you, Barry? That's bear? a rally for a, I think that's for like a little six-foot coating belt that's got a bungee cord. Look at that bungee cord. Fuck me, <laughs> yeah. A fucking like 50 cent gold. bungee cord. Bungee cords around here are like gold. Yeah. You gotta use them to hold like fucking that. doors on. There's an air hose here. I didn't even remember I had. There is. Huh. Another air hose, yeah. Man, it ain't really rough, too. Yeah, never mind the fucking bed that's right off your tow truck. I know that's what that was. Him off of a chair that just came apart. Just crumbled on me. Stop pissing and shitting in your chairs and it won't crumble apart. We're getting down to actually seeing the, the green paint of the, of the old green moss. Look at that. 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 I know I more than you. Car. That's all it matters. I know what I bought. Is that big, big block bolt pattern or a small block bolt pattern on that Mopar? Little twelve-volt blaster fuse. That's cool. Look at that change in there. We well, don't have to wire it to a twelve volt. We just wire it to a fucking toggle little switch. Little brother's gonna be on the video, watch it. You know, that's mine. That's my coat. That's that's fine. You know, that's nothing here. The lawnmowers, the TVs, the lamps, all that shit was his. And you had to give him some money back. It's just been nothing but a shit ass to me and my son here. And the reason here. Is that why your son probably still talks to him all? I don't blame him. I would too. I mean, you attacked his autistic, his autistic son, so. That's near that core, touching that core. That's the purpose of the video, people. It's another fuck off video. It's, it's literally doing nothing. doing nothing. What is that? Three, no. That's a fishing liner, man. That's, no, it's some kind of weed fishing cream, line. Green, I think. Yeah. That's what that is, Barry. Holy. Your fucking ass mine is a bad. Come on. I'm waiting to hear how this is a Mach 1. Winning. Losing. We're back in on that tree trim. You don't need to set much anymore either. Dangle back up in it. Look at the hood. The hood's junk on it. That's what it is. They're part of a weed whacker. Sure is. It's just tangled in everything. That reminds me of some best friends. <laughs> tangled up. You can't do anything about it. Oh, well, well, sure. well, let's talk you a little more working. <laughs> Everything's broke around here. I get Hey, wait a minute. It's not broke? Well, when you set your fat well, ass in it, it'll be broke. Sure, it's not broke. Good, now you can sit outside and play PlayStation and talk shit. <laughs> We're trying to 
trying to get everything that's off yeah, the car. Yeah, you can set it three times, thousand times. Yeah. That's the kind of the purpose. And try to clean everything around this car. Plug wires. Okay. Finally, we'll get to the meat and potatoes of the video. <clears throat> some jump tires, a uh, tack strip for some carpet, my buddy Sam, the seal mat, got that from him, the jump vehicle we got out, out of this place. And this we're going to save it. Whatever you get, you get, you know. This is With you, you're like an Steve. onion. You just keep pulling back layers, and they don't get no better and better. For Christine, could be another one around here for Chris. There it is. It's the other one for Christine. So we got two slots on one side. That's not American flags off there, is it? And two, so. and two slots already on the car. You couldn't even fucking put tires on the car. You did one side and said fuck it. The other two are too much. I'll be jacking up the fucking spring. Pop your throat. We hate this. Bucket seat, bench seat out here in the weather. Oh, Just yeah. It. Can't stand it, it's sitting out. In the oh, weather. yeah, because you're going to use that one day. That's all it's on the van. There's one half of my ramps for my trailer. Okay. There's one there. And there's one there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Hope you guys are all still with me. It didn't kick off. I don't know that it did. Thought you were going to show us how this made this a Mach 1. It didn't either. You are 20 fucking minutes this into this. And you haven't showed one fucking thing. Besides clickbait people. This is more clickbait. That's all this is. Because you tell the video cleaning off cars, moving junk from one spot to another. You know damn good well nobody's going to watch it. Are we going to get to the meat and potatoes of the video, or are you going to fuck off all day? Okay. Uh. Hey, Barry, 980 and 506, the same. Oh, 981. Sorry. 981. How's that 18 coming for you, Barry? You're 180. You're 3,180. Has it came yet? Or are you stuck 17? Okay, I think this, this is clickbait. Look, they stole a fucking Dollar General cart. He stole a fucking bunch of that. I mean, they stole a bunch of wiring. He saw that shit. No one was probably on the side of the fucking road where they left it from a job site doing a job or something. Could be, but he probably thought it was copper. Come on. You wrapped around that. He's completely wrapped around his dog house. He's wrapped himself completely around. That should be the first okay, fucking okay. thing you do in the morning, Barry, they, is walk around and check your dogs. Exactly. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, 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 that's not that bad. Right Sounds there. like a damn hit and miss engine. That's my body. That's yeah. Forrest Gump. Scrawny as all get out. I mean, how many of y'all seen a fucking <laughs> pit that's that fucking scrawny? Yeah, Pits are supposed to be work. big and buff and just er looking, mean looking. Not fucking scrawny looking like they're fucking dying. No one he'll give his dogs parvo shots, fucking rabies vaccines, anything like that to keep them alive. Hey, there's another tiny chain that fucked up. Barry fucked his friend. 
Hey Barry, you can melt off of my, my my cousin hating me on a valiant, but the car and the title, oh the car was here, but the title didn't come to me until the job was done. Can you say the same with that Mustang? Oh wait, you got the title apparently for it, but the job was never done. Who's the real hustler here, Barry? Things are still going. Yes, we're 24 minutes into this, guys. So we're going to cut this video off right here. Anybody else find that clickbaity as hell? He says in the whole fucking video that this is, we're going to show you what the difference between a fastback and a Mach 1 is. Exactly, but he keeps stating it in the video. That way, if you watch twenty, if you watch ten minutes in, and he said the ten minute mark, you're like, okay, I'll stay a little bit longer. You wait till the fucking so another ten minutes. Right, That's what I've been saying this whole time, dude. I mean, this car, this is nothing but props and shit for him, dude. He's never doing another shit. More clickbait bullshit. Now we're gonna move on to our other guy, and then we're gonna be done for the night because I gotta go pick up an engine tomorrow. Fuck you, Barry. Leave them kids alone. Check out our friends, Mako, Fasting, Lipstick Garage, Still Scrapper Kingdom. Thank all you guys for getting us at five, over 500 subscribers. Appreciate all you guys. You guys made this happen. You guys are pushing this out there more and more. And we, we fucking love you guys. You guys are awesome. Barry has went from making 30-minute videos three times a day to making one-minute videos every fucking six days. Like, I mean, I don't know... It's true what I'm going to say. You, you, all his subscribers and followers are helping to stop a piece of shit from yeah. succeeding at where he should be. You guys have made it to where he does You're fucking... You're part of a good movement, is what I'm saying. You guys have made okay. it to where he's doing live streams, and he's only made, he's making a subscriber-only mode to where you, you can't just go in this video and click and comment. You guys made it happen. You guys have made it to where he does lives, PlayStation playing PlayStation for six hours a day versus getting out here... And making videos because he's probably hoping that that's going to stop us. But we have tons of videos to review. And if I ever have to, I'll start reviewing the same ones over and over again. Till next time. Thank all you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. See you guys tomorrow. Well, here in a minute. But we'll be back tomorrow with another Barry Beamer reaction video. Now, we opened up the playpen. Ha, 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 ha. We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Winning. We've had somebody take parts off of it since it's been sitting there. Oh, yeah, uh, they better be watching and not catch anybody out here. I'm gonna shoot them. He just bought a grill, and I, I think the grill. <laughs> hey, kids, one beautiful mom over there. She looks really young. She might even be the mom, she might be the mom's other child. Beautiful lady, though. Beautiful girl. So here's what we're looking I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh, my God. They got these, they get these, what they call ringworms in their head. Oh, my God. And the, talk about lice. Oh, my God. And the women are just as bad. Oh, God, no. I was like, who would do this? Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh. Yeah, I had one of them.
Him. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Any time, boy! Any time! Come on, Dan, let's go. Walk this is in the 70s, Dan. Go! Scared me. Hey, it takes a bigger man to walk away. It's got a camera on. It's kind of weird you want to fuck Come a 25-year-old. What's your mouth? Come the fuck on, motherfucker! <laughs> Sir, go on, please. Go on, there's a bunch of kids in Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? You run, you goddamn cocksuckers? Yeah, you, motherfucker. Please, Dad. Come on, Dad. There's been that heat. Come on, Dad. I'm not attacking him. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Any time, boy. Any time. Come on, Dad, let's go. This is in the 70s, Dad. Go!